Okay, uh, what I've got here is an Insignia Blu-ray player. And the problem we're having is the DVD door will not open up. And we're gonna go ahead and plug it in. Red light comes on. I do hear something trying to turn, but I'm just actually going to hit the eject button right here. As you can see, absolutely. Okay, it does come on, and as you can see, uh, you can actually hear it, uh, but the door is stuck. Okay. Now, in most cases, um, all we have to do is go inside, take the cover off of it, uh, and this pretty much goes for all DVD players, find your screws, uh, in this case it looks like uh, there's one, two, um, three, four screws. You can see this is our tray. Uh, it is stuck, and so um, there's usually a motor or something that's usually on the side in some cases, or on this side. And all you have to do is use your finger and just, or use a little screwdriver, just kind of turn the wheel until it comes out. But this one uh, looks like everything is located up underneath. Um, so look at this pretty good here. So what I'm going to actually do is just pull this entire carriage out. I'm not going to try to force it out. As a matter of fact, let's try one thing before we do that. I'm going to plug it back in. Okay. We're going to turn the power on and the light should turn blue. Because of the light, there are some. Um, the, there we go. Okay. Uh, so what I'm going to do uh, is the actual this carriage assembly. I'm going to remove these four screws here. Uh, you probably can't see it. There's one uh, down here on this side. There's one here. Okay. And there's one right here. A little light there, as you can see. Two on the side. And there's one right there. Okay. here okay. and I might as well just unplug the ribbon connectors right here okay. this one comes right out this light and this one has a little pull up thing here and that should come right out so now we have that screws are falling out there okay so now what we're actually do there's actually a gear right here and this is what turns the uh, door 
uh, the gears on the door. And I'm just gonna take a little screwdriver. Okay, and like you see, we have our uh, DVD carriage once again. <laughs> okay, and as we see, we see that gear. Um, in most cases, you can't miss it, especially if you have to pull the entire assembly out, which, as you saw, was very easy. Okay, now watch this. What I'm gonna do? You can take a little small screwdriver or something and just turn it. Do not force it. Okay, you're gonna see this bar slide over, and that's actually gonna lift the carriage up and out. Okay. This way. Get grip on here. There we go. You see it is sliding out. Bring it all the way out. As you can go. And by the deep, and by the actual tray coming out that easy, it lets us know that there's no gear stripped or nothing stuck pretty much. And uh, here we go. Like I said, do not force it, do not break anything. They're just plastic gears. Okay. Now in most cases uh, we like to add a little grease on these gears right here, just a little bit, and just let it spin it after it spins around, it's gonna you know, distribute throughout the gear pattern here because um, what happens is a lot of times it's going to get stuck but uh, just for purposes I'm just going to show you uh, let's see if we can actually get it in here if not we may have to put it back uh, let's see here okay so far so good okay okay so it's going to connect our connectors back where they belong. This one goes here. Um, as you can see, a little clip down one. It's just three connectors. I'm actually going to screw it in first, make sure that uh, it is even. Okay, uh, we've got all our screws in. We have all our connectors set up. All I can make this plug back in, and then we're actually going to place the cover on it because, like I said, this does have photo sensors off, and we don't want to throw our timing off here. So, just to cover it up from the light, we're going to put that cover on before we screw it in. Actually, goes like that. Okay, I'm going to plug it in. It is already plugged in. I'm going to turn it on. And eject. That's it. That will work, I can almost guarantee, 90% of the time that your DVD player's door will not open. If there's a DVD stuck in there and the door will not open. Okay guys, well uh, thanks for watching. Hope you learned something. Big dog out.